have the proper foundation for the long journey upwards, one needs roots deep in the earth. It is here that you come home to the peace, stillness, and solidity that is found in the natural world. Meditate here with your roots in the earth, honoring the temple of your body. Muladhara now remains awakened at the base of the spine as we open to the six-petaled orange lotus of the second chakra called Svadhisthana, meaning one's own place. This chakra is related to the element water and represents the dual nature of existence, the constant ebb and flow of polarity, opposites attracting, moving and flowing toward each other with a primal longing to merge together as one. Here we tap into the primal flow energy, pulled by the currents within the soul, urged by our longings and desires. At the level of the second chakra, the Kundalini serpent both divides and unites, creating the eternal yin-yang of existence, spinning in ultimate This chakra emanates from the sacrum, the hips and pelvis, as the seat of movement, sensation, pleasure, desire, and emotion. As two bodies connect with each other in erotic communion, they become one in ecstatic embrace, opening to the waters of passion and their ocean of bliss. Satisfied, we move from the waters of the second chakra into the third chakra, located in the solar plexus, the yellow lotus of Manipura, which means lustrous gem. we follow the chaotic and fiery serpent of Kundalini, harnessing her energy to bring it into our bellies. 
and blossom forth with power. This fire carries and sustains us as we burn through the ego and dissolve into the lustrous gem that is the true source of power in Manipura. Leaving the third chakra ignited, we rise again to the heart to find a green lotus of 12 petals called Anahata, meaning unstruck or unhurt. The element of this chakra is air as we rise up into the softness and spaciousness of the sky.